Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS Trivolt, and I'm going to show you how to solve the DNS server lab. So what we have here are four routers, and on the top left we have our primary DNS server, and there's a secondary DNS server. So we're going to use both of those routers as DNS servers, and we have two client uh, routers. So let me show you how to do this. Um, first of all, we have to set up our two DNS servers. So that is the first thing that I'm going to do here. So make sure you type in IP DNS server and then IP DNS primary. I'm going to use domain name vault.local. And this will be the domain and the hostname and we need to specify DNS uh, record for a wherever we want to deliver mail and I'm just going to use rene.volt.local so that's one server of course I need to do the same thing on this one so IP DNS uh, primary volt.local ns2.volt.local and the mailbox. There we go. Um, okay, so that's all good. And the next step is to configure the name server record. So the ns record. There we go. So This is the IP address of the primary DNS server. And this is the IP address of the secondary DNS server. So that's all good. Let's do it on the primary one as well. Here we go. So that's good. And of course I still need to do one more thing. Because if I type in ping ns1 or ping uh, ns2 or ns1 it's not going to work because we need to add some records here so I'm going to add host vault.local ns1 and what am I doing wrong here uh, I think I need to do it like this There we go. There we go. So now I can ping by using the uh, host names. So this should be everything I have to do on the DNS servers. And the next step is that I want to make sure that client one can use the DNS servers to resolve host names so let's try it so I'm going to the client router and I'm going to use IP name server the primary one but also the secondary one and if I try ping ns1 it's not working yet uh, so let's see if we have IP domain lookup and now you can see it's working so make sure you have IP domain lookup enabled so if I do ping ns2 I'm also getting a response because it's using the DNS servers alright so far so good um, the next step is that okay I should use the DNS servers by using round robin and you can see that right now I used uh, the primary one, so dot one for both lookups, and we can change this by uh, this behavior by using IP domain, and here we have round robin. So if you use round robin, it will send the first DNS lookup to the first DNS server, and then use the second one, first one, second one, and so on. 
Okay, so far so good. Uh, what else do we have? Router client 2 should do DNS lookups by using client 1. So, what we are going to do is check the IP address. So, this is the link between client 1 and client 2. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to enable DNS server on this router. Um, I shouldn't do this. So it's not doing DNS lookups at this moment. So make sure you also type in IP domain lookup. There we go. And you can see that it's working because I'm translating NS1 and I'm using client1 to do my lookups. So you can see that it, uh, this is working as well. Uh, okay, great. So we did this part. And there's one more step. We need to set up a loopback on router client 1. Um, so let's create that loopback. And of course I need to make sure that it's advertised in OSPF. And it will be because I'm routing for all networks. So that loopback is now reachable. And the last step that I want to do is make sure that client1 will respond with IP address 3333. That's the loopback as a DNS response when the DNS servers are unreachable. And what we need to do is use the uh, spoofing command. And you need to specify the IP address. So right now everything is okay. And you can see that I'm doing a DNS lookup. So that's working. And what I'm going to do now is shut down the interface. between client 1 and the two DNS servers. And you can see that it's using DNS spoofing now. So I'm translating NS1 and client 1 is sending back its own loopback address as the IP address. There we go. So that's how you can use uh, DNS spoofing. And when I do a no-shot Uh, it might take a while because OSPF is still busy, I think. Now it's up. Ah, there we go. Now you can see it's working again and that I'm getting the uh, actual IP address of the DNS server. Uh, so that's the DNS spoofing feature. Um, well, that's all that I have for you. Uh, one more thing that's a useful command to see. Uh, if you use show IP DNS primary, you get to see all the DNS information. So the primary DNS server, contact name, stuff like that. Uh, and of course make sure that you have your hosts. So show hosts, here we go. So if you do show hosts, you get to see all the host names that you have on your DNS server. Uh, and that's it. That's all I have for you on the DNS server. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.